Hey, the uh, Manson News Flash is down at the Manson Chamber office. And you probably never guess what we're here for by the way we're dressed. But anyway, we're down here to talk with Debbie Conwell about 4th of July stuff. Debbie, tell us about who you are. I am the Executive Director of the Manson Chamber of Commerce. And, you know, that role is really a lot of administrative and a little bit of everything. We just try to keep, uh, create an environment for our businesses and our community to um, be successful. Right, and uh, you know, we, we work on doing a lot of events and all kinds of things to keep people coming into town, and uh, you do a great job. Oh, thank you. So, uh, the, uh, this event, the 4th of July fireworks, is mm -hmm. one of the largest fireworks displays in Eastern Washington, and those aren't free. So, you know, we have to raise money, and this is a completely a community effort mm -hmm. to raise the money for these. And uh, I know recently, I think it was last Wednesday, mm -hmm. we had a special event to raise money. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, you bet. We had our annual Stars and Stripes auction dinner, and we have that at, at the, um, the Grange here in Manson. So I have a crew of, of women um, led by this year. Chair, chairperson was Mariah Coster of Four Lakes. Our, our secretary took that on. and. And there was about five or six of us. I'm just going to say their names because sure. I think they're just extraordinary women. Um, so Mariah Coster is our chairperson. Cindy Sneesby was our caterer and decorator. She does an amazing job. Phyllis Coleman was our designated dessert dash coordinator. Christine Sixel was our auction coordinator. KJ Cassidy partic participated in just about everything as well as Sally Coleman. And um, I co-chaired with uh, Mariah. Just great gals. I know you had a great MC, uh, Aaron England, buddy of mine. He's a funny guy. Uh, so how did the evening go? I mean, what what happened there? Well, he was our uh, MC. He kept the, the the night moving, and he did a great job. He, he he's so funny. He, he <laughs> looks at our list ahead of time to see who he can harass out there and try to get more money from. So between him and Todd Link from uh, our, our our president, chamber president. They kind of um, co-hosted uh, the night, and it was it was it was really funny. We 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 raised actually um, over twenty four thousand dollars between wow. the night. And, yeah, wow! Wow! That just about each. pays for the fireworks almost. Yeah. We take out a few expenses, of well, course. Well, we so. did have some expenses, and then <laughs> we also have more money that we generated through our online donations. <clears throat> right. So, how many? Uh, I know there was a lot of auction items. How many auction items did you have? We probably had about. Uh, 100, 100 wow. silent auction items, and then we had a few larger items that we did for the live auction. Wow, it's, yeah. it's amazing. And like I say, it's all, all, all donated by businesses mm -hmm. and people, you know, stepping up to the plate, and then somebody's got to buy all those things too. So, did, how much did we uh, sell? You say about 24 grand, huh? About 24,000. We had a lot of people donate wine, of course, being in wine country, people donated uh, the bottles of wine which we had available by the glass. So they could come down, and get their bottle of glass, peruse all the auction items, you know, visit with uh, each other, and um, also have some for their with their with their meal, the cost of dinner that night. Yeah, all in all, it was uh, the Stars and Stripe auction, the number fifth or sixth annual. Fifth or sixth, yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's just a lot of fun. Right, and know? and and a huge success. So, so you know, we really thank everyone that had any kind of a part in it. Absolutely. Anyone that you know purchased items, they help. So we have a great 4th of July. Well, the 4th of July is on a Sunday this, this year, which is okay because people get an extra day, they stay over it's Monday, but, uh, and it's gonna be warm. Mm -hmm. uh, we're sitting in the chamber office right now and it's 100 degrees outside and it's gonna be pretty warm over here, which is great. So uh, I know that the Lake Boys are gonna be playing mm -hmm. prior to the fireworks, but what else is going on in town on the 4th of July? You know, we found that a lot of people uh, actually like to do barbecues in their in their home or be on their boats. But um, we definitely have all of our wineries will be open. Um, all of our restaurants will be open. Um, of course, we have the beautiful lake and um, the swimming park where Vicki right. Downey will be lifeguarding that day. Um, so. Yeah, um, probably some individual concerts at the various wineries probably. outdoors. They do, you know. There's a lot. There's a lot of that. There's actually a lot of um, live music all through July and through the summer. Through the summer, just about 
Thursday. Yeah, it is, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of things to see. What I always enjoy watching is our house, where our house is at. We can see the boats coming from Chelan between 9 and 9.30, heading down to Manson, Dankro to watch the fireworks. Mm -hmm. And the whole Manson Bay is full of boats. What a great way to watch a fireworks it, this morning. It really is, yeah. yeah. Especially on a balmy night in, oh. in Manson. Just, um, yeah. Beautiful. So it's, it's, it's really a great place to spend the 4th of July. This is how you build memories. Mm -hmm. uh, as a kid, I remember being over here, and that's one of the reasons I live here full time. So come on over and visit us. So that kind of wraps it up. Uh, again, the 4th of July is going to be great over here. Uh, you know, and if people want to uh, find out more about this event or other events, or if they would like to donate to the 4th of July fireworks, how do they do that? Yeah, absolutely. You can go online at moretomanson.com. That's our website. But also, if you visit our Facebook, that's updated just about, you know, between all of us working on it, we update it several times a week. Oh, so yeah. the information is really current on our Facebook and, and also on our um, website as well. But click on events. You'll you'll see a lot of happenings in, in Manson in July and particularly on the 4th of July. You won't want to miss the Lake Boys. Uh, yeah. Definitely a, a fun show. There will be a flyover sometime during the day. We haven't narrowed down the, um, the exact right. time, but Jason's working on that. So, yeah, I um, just go and one way to donate is what we call buy a bomb. Buy a <laughs> so bomb. You're not actually buying a bomb, but you're buying one of those big fireworks uh, that they have on the barge and they put your name on it when you donate and just before they put it in you know set it all up on the barge they take pictures of everybody who <laughs> donated their name we had a lot of generous donators and we will be posting all of our donors and you can site. you can do that you can you can go ahead and buy that bomb <laughs> right on the bordermanson.com <laughs> uh, page and, just and, come here and pick it up yeah or here. you can come to the chamber <laughs> yeah don't pick it up and uh you can all if you, i think there's some donation buckets the red apple or yes. the chamber here sure. you know uh this is a community event and uh, anyway so finally you know the biggest thing is that you're over here and visiting us mm -hmm. make some memories right Deb? Yeah, absolutely yeah just bear in mind it's gonna be warm it's gonna so be warm yeah stay on the water stay cool be safe okay thank you thank you